guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a spoiler-free review of Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Caraval is a debut YA fantasy novel that follows the story of these two sisters named Scarlet and Tella, and they live under the watch of their extremely controlling, manipulative, and abusive father. In this world, however, there is this performance called Caraval, and essentially Caraval is like a show slash carnival slash circus type of thing, and it's a performance that happens once a year, and it's extremely exclusive, and you have to have tickets to get invited to it, and it is very, very difficult to get them and to go. But Scarlet has always been fascinated by Carvel, and ever since she was a little kid, she has always wanted to go see this performance. And she's been writing letters to Master Legend, who is the man who runs Carvel, ever since she was a little kid, begging him for a ticket to go see the show. However, by the time she's 17 years old, her father has arranged for her to marry this man. And also, at that time, she ends up getting a ticket to go and see Carvel. However, she has never left the island where she lives, and she does not want to disobey her father because of how controlling and abusive he is, but she wants nothing more than to go see this performance. Her sister Tella, however, is far more of a risk taker, so she decides to plot a way to get Scarlet to be able to get off the island and go see this Carval performance. Tella gets help from this sailor Julian, and the three of them end up sailing off to go to Carval. However, by the time that they get there, they find out that Tella has been kidnapped, and this entire Carval performance is based around who can find Tella first. So the way that Carval works is really that the audience gets to participate within the show, so you can either buy a ticket to just witness the show and just watch it, or you can actually be a part of the performance. Most everyone who goes actually just participates in the performance itself, and this year their task is to find Tella within the five days of the performance. So Scarlet is obviously terrified because her sister has gone missing and she wants nothing more than to find her, and along the way she finds out that there's a lot more going on to Carval than she expected in the first place. There's a lot of magic and mystery and suspense, and it is overall a fantastic novel. So this book has been compared to The Night Circus by many different people, and as many of you know, that is my absolute favorite book of all time. So when I heard that people were saying that this has a similar feel to The Night Circus or that fans of The Night Circus will enjoy this book, I knew that I absolutely had to read it. However, I don't necessarily agree with all of those comparisons just because this is a very, very different entity than The Night Circus. The overall kind of feel of having like that atmospheric, magical, mysterious sense to it is very much similar to The Night Circus, but the entire plot of this story and the direction that the characters are taken in and the direction that the story is headed in is a very, very different thing from The Night Circus. And I'm actually pretty happy about that because I like this book being its own separate entity. I like how different it is, but I still like that it has that atmospheric feeling to it because that's something I absolutely adore in books. So I would say that if you enjoyed The Night Circus, I don't know if you'll necessarily enjoy every aspect of this book because this book is far more fast paced than The Night Circus is. That one is very much a slow paced book and that is part of the atmosphere of that book, whereas Carval is very much a fast-paced, action-packed sort of story, so if that's more of your thing, I definitely think you'll enjoy this one. But going into more detail into the characters and the plot and the writing of this book, I thought the writing in here was wonderful. I thought it fit so well with the story. Like I said, it is a fast-paced story because it's very mysterious and it's full of twists and turns and plot twists, and the writing definitely matches that style. However, it's also very beautifully written and lyrical at times, which again goes with the atmospheric vibe of giving it that like magical mysterious setting. This book is also written in third person which I very much appreciated because personally I like third person books more than first person stories and also I think that having it written in third person definitely helped to create the atmosphere that the story has and the overall mystery that the story has and a lot of that definitely went into the creation of the plot and the setting and everything and as far as the setting goes I thought that it was probably one of my favorite parts of the story. Stephanie Garber does a fantastic fantastic job of creating a world that you can vividly imagine in your mind. There's this part of the story where she first gets to Carval and there is this deserted walkway, just like a street that she's walking down, like cobblestone street, and there are all of these shops and everything like looks weird and mismatched and all of them are closed and it's really eerie and I could so vividly see it in my mind and it looked so so amazing. So there are some fantastic descriptions in here of a lot of the setting which I think is really important when you have a magical book and I thought she executed that wonderfully. I also really did enjoy this book plot-wise. I thought just from reading the synopsis that I wouldn't be too into it because it didn't sound like it was going to get 
too intense and it sounded like it might be like a little bit cliche and while it definitely did have some more like cliche tropes and things throughout it it also was very very unique usually for me when it comes to plot twists i am able to guess them way ahead of time way in advance more often than not they're not usually that surprising to me however throughout this book i was taken by surprise so often and one of the things i really enjoyed about the plot twists that happened in here were that they weren't just done for shock value they actually had a purpose to the whole story and along with that i thought that they also contributed to the suspense of the story really really well i was kind of hesitant at first because i thought that incorporating a mystery suspense magical like atmospheric kind of story all together might make it a little bit too convoluted but actually it really didn't do that at all it all fit so well together and it was really cohesive and it flowed so fantastically i really liked that the story followed these two sisters and their relationship as well as their relationship with their father and I just like that whole dynamic and that's very much because the characters in here were also just fantastic. First of all this book is diverse because there are characters of color in here and they are explicitly described as characters of color written in with olive toned or brown skin so that was something that I was so so happy to see in here. The characters themselves were also extremely three-dimensional. I loved Scarlett's character in here. I was so so happy to read about a main female character who I didn't find annoying which is something that I've been finding in a lot of YA fantasy that I've been reading lately but with Scarlet I didn't find that at all. I thought that she was really determined and she really just wanted to find her sister. She had her own personality independent of her love interest and independent of the other relationships that she had and that is something that I always look for in a character. I also loved Julian's character. He's like the main male character in the story. He wasn't controlling or manipulative at all so it was a very stark contrast to her father's character. There was a lot of mystery and suspense behind him obviously as there was with a lot of the characters but I really really enjoyed where his character went in the story and the things that we get to find out about him throughout the book as well as the other characters. And there are also other minor characters throughout the story who are so charismatic. They are all so distinct from one another so it makes them extremely memorable and it gives the entire book its own unique character as well. So yeah overall like I said I absolutely enjoyed this book. I thought it was such a fun read. It's definitely the type of book that you'll be reading and you cannot put it down. I read this book in a total of two sittings. I was constantly turning to the next page because I had to know what was going to happen and it leaves off in a fantastic place for the next book to pick up and I'm so so excited. This book isn't released until January 31st of 2017 so it is about like a month away before the book is released but I absolutely recommend it if you are looking for a new, fun, mysterious, magical story to read. It's already gotten some great reviews and it's already been picked up for film, so I'm super excited about that as well. But yeah, I just adored this story. I cannot wait for more. I cannot wait for it to be released so more people can read it, so I can talk to people about it, because there are so many things that happened in here that I just need to be able to discuss with people. I ended up giving this a four out of five stars. It wasn't a five star for me just because I think it had to set up a lot for the future books. So I'm thinking that if the future books are anything like this one, they're going to expand so much on the world and so much on the characters that they will probably be five star books for me. But that just about covers all of my thoughts on Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Let me know in the comments down below if you have already read Caraval or if you're excited to read Caraval, any of your thoughts on it. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!